What did you say? I'm ready. I already opened them. You're them. ready? You opened them up? Yeah. This is a plant. I've already got a spot ready for planting seeds. See this line here I made? Just drop a few at a time, one at a time. Spread them out, okay? Down, all the way down the line. Hey everybody, the purpose of this video is to catch you up on the past few days. We haven't posted a video, a lot has happened. And this is gonna be a catch up for people who haven't been paying attention to our channel <laughs> for several weeks or longer. And for everyone else who's been paying very close attention and been directly involved. That's enough right here. So go do this section over here. Brighton um, took initiative this morning to start planting our winter garden, right? He said, I want to plant some seeds. He was actually digging a hole in the front yard, which is not allowed in the grass, in the dirt in the grass. And um, I said, I've got a spot for you. You can come up here to the garden and you can get our winter garden planting started. The quick catch up is that we found mold in their house and we believe it's been impacting our kids' health. We figured out it was gonna cost a big chunk of money to get the house fixed. We, we figured that after tearing out walls, um, treating all the mold downstairs, after um, sealing the crawl space, putting in a dehumidification system in the crawl space and the upstairs so that it wouldn't come back, and then cleaning the whole house actually having professionals clean like the whole house effectively, it was gonna cost $30,000. Well, that was the minimum. We got actually another uh, estimate back during this whole thing and it was more than double what we thought. It was $7,200 instead of 3,000. I thought it was encouraging this um, mold remediator guy just came out, um, looked at everything. It was encouraging, he was very encouraging. He wasn't saying it's not gonna be expensive. He was just saying that he thinks our house is really solid. He's saying our house was built really, really well. That's what was, he kept saying really nice things about, I mean, this was apart from the mold, like the wood that our house is built with, and he had so much detailed knowledge about the work need, need, that needed to be done. And even the fact that he just had a simple tool for reading the moisture in the air, and, and the, the moisture in the walls, because we have, you know, some walls that are like bowing out, and he was able to like read the moisture in the walls, and then check other walls that aren't bowing. And then our friends, from Swedish Homestead, Alex and Simeon. They live in Sweden, great YouTube channel, really sweet people and a great family. They started a GoFundMe for me, for us, for me. <laughs> GoFundMe. For us. A GoFundMe for me. We were reticent to do it at first, and then finally said, okay, yeah, go ahead and do it. And we set a goal of $30,000 on the GoFundMe, and over the course of about a week, folks gave us, as of, this morning, almost $65,000. Yes. <laughs> so our minds are blown by this. So here we are with all of this money that was generously given to us and trying to figure out what to do with the house. Last week we had estimators coming out. We had friends come out who are really knowledgeable about construction and renovation. We have friends coming out who are builders and they're just, they're not, talking about doing work for us. Yeah, um, they've done a ton of renovations. They've dealt with mold a lot um, in their renovations. And so they just offered to come out and just as friends, talk in depth with what our options could be with our house. They are dreamers. And so they're dreamers in ways that we're not. They dream about different things, such as like building projects. And so, you know, through this whole thing, she has been like a huge cheerleader for us. And every time she calls me, she's just like cheering us on and lifting us up. And it's just gonna, we haven't, I haven't actually seen her in person since this started. So this will be fun. You're gonna be here in an hour or two, right? Give me in like five minutes. Oh. In the midst of that, we actually also got some homestead type work done. Our last video, you know, we sold the goats. Um, at the end of last week, we, I worked on planting our winter garden some and also um, harvesting all our corn and putting it in the freezer. Back to the garden. This whole bed is going to be 
root crops so far. We've just got beets in, golden Detroit beets, and the seeds are from So True Seed, which is an Asheville-based seed company. And these are cosmic purple carrots from Baker Creek. Peppers? How's that pepper? Mm. Do you want to film for a few minutes? Mm -hmm. Point at me for a minute. I've got Brighton as my steady cameraman, or faithful I should say, cameraman. And we're going to try to pick all the corn, put it in the wheelbarrow, and shuck it. Just look at this one. Nice. live stream a few days ago I don't even know <laughs> this has been the craziest week and one thing that really struck both of us from the live stream was this thing that somebody said they coined the term the house that love built and I was just like oh my goodness yes yes our house is going to be the house that love built I mean, let me just share with you the evolution of thought. It was like, oh no, like we have this huge issue in our house. Like, how are we going to pay for it? I start looking up loans. Um, start actually like re like not just looking them up, but talking to loan officers and things like that. Our friends do a GoFundMe. It raises a totally incredible amount of money. Um, we get some phone calls from really close friends and family who kind of show us the value in not necessarily remediating, remediating our house, but tearing it down and either building a new house or renovating our house. Um, they show us how unwise it would be to only remediate our home. Um, and then we have this live stream and people are constantly mentioning that we should rebuild. People so, kept saying, build a new house, a new house. Yeah. Um, anyways, it was a very new thought to us that had just occurred in the last 24 hours around the live stream. And then someone said something about, it's going to be the house that love built. <laughs> and so after a lot of talking to people who know what they're talking about, people that we trust, people who do a lot of building and a lot of financing and things like that, over the last few days, we have decided to not just remediate our home. So currently we're moving towards and focused on doing a large um, probably gutting renovation of our house in order to remediate the mold in the basement and to actually in the walls upstairs it it was it's a, it was a very challenging job and um, especially downstairs involved these remote areas you had to crawl and crawl and crawl to get back to them and that those that remoteness was actually going to make the remediation job very difficult, expensive, and actually almost impossible without tearing out a ton of the flooring. And so what we realized is that if we actually got a lot of the floor of the house and we will be able to access all those areas and it would make actually the mold remediation and putting in a sealed uh, crawl space system, all of that would make all of that so much simpler um, and faster. The other thing is that we don't know if there's mold in other areas. So gutting the house, the interior of the house, would actually allow us to find all of the mold that was there. And that's exactly. super reassuring to us. Exactly. We could have spent 40 grand and then found mold in a whole different wall later. And that's kind of heartbreaking. I mean, that's beyond heartbreaking. It would be an absolute devastation. And to bring the house, to remove all the walls and to, and to find every spot in the entire house that there is mold is so reassuring but on top of that we can renovate our house and then we're not only using that money to remediate the mold but we're bringing equity into our home so if we only remediate mold that's it that money's gone but if we renovate the home on top of that 
then now actually we've brought an equ we've brought equity into our home. Does that make sense? Are you asking me? To them, I'm asking oh, them. Does that make sense? So you might ask, well, why are we sitting here talking about it, making another video talking about it, and not doing stuff? Well, Ooh, it's complicated. It's, it's the complicated <laughs> getting off the ground of this kind of thing. First of all, we need a place to live. First of all, we need a place to live. That's our first. And so step. We're, um, we've been talking to multiple people who have RVs, possibly about renting an RV um, and putting it in our yard. I, I think we need to be in another house. I think this is going to take eight months. Um, and so... I personally want to be on the property, though. So that's where we differ. And I think it'll be less stressful to actually be in a house. So we're, we're talking to people, trying to figure that out now. That's kind of one of the first steps. And then at the same time, talking about actually, you know, how far we would go with the job and um, planning it. We went over to look at a friend's RV um, the other day. Yeah. And it quickly turned out that it wasn't the right RV it's for us. It's not the right temper for us. It's not gonna work out, which is unfortunate because it was, it was free. You know, you can be really grateful for something and also just like really sad about it. Like I am not excited about living in a camper. I've done it before with children. And it wasn't to travel. Traveling is like a whole other story. But just living in one does not feel exciting to me. But I'm grateful at the same time. Okay, we're about to see the camper for the first time. I've actually seen this camper before, like just going over to my friend's house, but I've never really looked at it. Not that long. <laughs> there it is. So basically, this is where we are right now. We have this amazing sum of money that you guys have given us. Um, we are making plans to go above and beyond just remediating our house. Ultimately, one of the very first steps is we need a place to live. Whether we renovate it or not, we need a place to live. Um, however, knowing that we plan to renovate our home, not just remediate our home, we need a place to live for more than just like two or three months. We probably need it for at least eight months at the minimum. And we still have a farm. <laughs> so that's where we are. We're trying to figure out how much of our time and mental and emotional and physical energy we put into our farm. We know we need to get out of our house. We know that. And for all of you concerned, the reason we are not like moving into a hotel room is because I bought these super extremely nice high tech air purifiers for our home. And we have seen them help us. Um, that does not mean that we can stay there. It means that we have a little bit of time. And so we are going to use that little bit of time to make wise decisions that will not cause more problems later. Because honestly, right now, what we need more than anything is wisdom. And we need a little bit of time in order to get that wisdom. And so that's where we're at. We are, we're in a place of just trying to make really good decisions for our family and how best to use this money so that it's not just wasted. Well guys, that's going to wrap it up. I just want to say thank you so much again <laughs> to everyone who's been so generous with us. Not only with financial gifts, but also just their messages and encouragement and prayers. And but, just sticking around. Yeah. <laughs> like, thanks for being here. Like, thanks for sticking around because we're going through something that's really hard right now. And your financial giving and your prayers and your messages are making that what's so hard actually doable, actually fixable, actually, um, we're actually able, we're going to get through this, but it's still really hard. We have a lot of hard decisions to make and, um, yeah, so thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for being here and we got a great story to tell, so stick around, it'll be fun. Bye. <laughs>